Now, once we've added in our PDFs that we want to create into our ebook reader version, we're ready to go into the design tab, which is where we can format and make sure everything is formatted correctly for the rendering of the ebook reader. Now, before 3D issue users have always come into this digital magazine mode, but you'll find now that there's a, another option here for ebook reader mode. So this is where we format our ebook reader mode and can change some of the options. So let's just select this mode and you'll see it's now rendering our pages and we've got some different tools that we haven't used before and we have our layout. So we have three areas of the screen. We have the options that we can change on the left. We have our specific pages in the middle and then we have the thumbnails that we can start editing on the right. You might also want to look at this to fit the screen so we can see the full view of the page we're editing. Now the ebook reader mode does convert things slightly differently so it will format the text into uh, a standard that is like this. And the reason we have this editing mode is so we can go through the pages and just change things that perhaps don't look correct and just would look better that are formatted. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to start on our first page and it might be simple things that this image, although looks great in a PDF and a digital magazine, might not look too good in our ebook reader mode. So we can just select and delete this. We could then just like a, a simple Word document almost, just change the formatting so it looks slightly better. Some of the tools you have on this left hand side, this is all the editing tools are all contained with this in the area. So we can undo and we can redo. We can cut, copy and paste. We then have kind of text formatting so we can italic, underline and bold. If we want to create a link, all we need to do is simply select the text that we want to be the link. Select this option hyperlink and in here you can change the text that you want to be the link and then either link to a page in the publication or a web link. So we'll just add in here web link and OK. So that will now be available on our ebook. So a Kindle reader then can tap that and go to a specific web page. Other things we can do is add in images. So if we didn't want to use this one, we can select and delete. We can then justify to the left, click add image and select from our desktop or our computer what image we want to be placed in there. You can also add in audio or video, but do bear in mind not all readers will support all of these functions. You can change the size of the font, so just like any other word formatting, you can highlight and change the font text. We can add in bullet points through numbered list and bullets. We can indent text, add tables, find and replace text, and then formatting such as the left justification, center, right, and fully justified. You can also add page breaks as well. You then notice you have this take snapshot tool. Now this is for those areas of pages that aren't rendered in the way that you want to be for your ebook reader. For example, if you had a PDF that had a table in, you might find in here that it's formatted it slightly awkwardly. It's, it's not how you would want it to be. What this take snapshot tool does, it allows you to take an image so it won't be text anymore, but it will allow you to say, right, take this page, this section of my original document and add it as an image. So let's take a look. If we did take snapshot tool for this page, let's click this option. Then gives us a view of our original PDF, how it was formatted. And we can simply say, okay, add this as an image in my ebook. So highlight the area click take snapshot and you'll see now that this is an image held within our publication. Do bear in mind though this is an image so it won't be searchable or highlighted text anymore. So those are the number of editing options and you can simply go through each page, format the pages so they look correct for, to you, 
before you're ready to move on to the next section.